Hi guys, this is Tyler Britt, your Instructional Technology Coordinator, with another edition of Snack Pack. Well, today I'm very excited to be showing you a new feature that has just been released to our domain in Google Docs. It's something that a lot of us have been waiting for for a long time, and it's finally here. Google Docs now supports a built-in voice typing feature. This is wonderful for students who have a hard time expressing themselves. They can now talk some ideas out and get some pretty accurate typing down on the computer screen. Let me just show you how it works. So here I've just opened a new Google document. I've gone ahead and given my Google Doc a name. And the voice typing feature is hidden in the Tools section. So I'm going to click on Tools. And I'm going to come down to the microphone icon where voice typing is located. I simply click on voice typing, and then I get this little microphone that I can drag around wherever is convenient for me. I toggle, toggle the voice typing on and off by clicking on the microphone. I can use some basic punctuation commands like period, question mark, exclamation point. I can also do things like new line or new paragraph. Let me show you what I mean. Voice typing is now here for Google Docs, exclamation point. This is something many people have been waiting for a long time for, period. New line. Voice typing in Google Docs can assist students who have a hard time articulating their thinking, period. New paragraph. Voice typing is a game changer in the world of education, period. New paragraph. Can you think of a time when you might use voice typing in your classroom? Question mark. Then I'll click the microphone to turn it off. As you can see, this is a, a tool that's relatively accurate, provided students can speak loudly and clearly. You notice that I used the commands of new line when I simply wanted to hit enter, and new paragraph when I wanted space between the, uh, the previous paragraph. You'll also notice that there are lots of underlined phrases because Google is not quite sure what I mean. So um, I'm going to have more underlines than I typically do, but you can either ignore them if they're right or you can go back and make edits. Obviously, like with any other voice typing software, this is not going to be 100% fail-proof for students, but it is a great way for them to at least get some initial thoughts down on the paper without having to worry about typing perfectly, and it provides an opportunity for them to go back and practice editing their word processing. So again, voice typing, it's in the tools section on Google Docs, something that's a game changer, and I hope that you find this helpful. Until next time, onward we go.